Someone killed a deer, brought us the carcass. <sighs> oh, hello. That's amazing. Hey. Okay. Uh, okay. See ya. idea how to fix it. Hold on, I got it. Okay. Hey, St. John, you there? Yes, Izzo, I'm here. Now that this is what we're talking about, it's gonna take me a bit. I gotta go check on security at the border with Iron Butte. Check on the river, you know what I mean? No. Uh, no, Schizo, I don't got a clue. Why don't you spell it out for me? Nice try, smartass. Remember, I'm going. Damn it! Reload! Shot! Okay, uh, you were saying. Nice try, smartass. Remember, I'm going out on a limb here. Don't make me regret it. Anyway, I'll be in touch real soon. In the meantime, make yourself useful around camp. Prove Iron Mike was right for a change. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. Whatever you say, St. John, out. Aw, uh, yeah, nice bunch of rapists, thieves, and murderers. What you doing out here, huh? You looking for your next easy target? I can sell this. Hey, St. John, where you at, brother? I'm here, Schizo, but not your... No skin off my nose, just doing what I can to help you grow. That business we discussed, let's just say uh, you should head out that way now. Oh, you mean the border with the rivers? Very funny. I meant no such thing. <laughs> All I said was you were thinking about taking... What were you saying? Very funny. I meant no such thing. <laughs> All I said was, if you were thinking about taking a ride, or what do you drifters like to call it? A ride in the open road? Now would be a good time to do it. You got me? Yeah, Schizo, like always, I got you. St. John out. Okay, here we go.
Gotta be right around here. I smell it. Ugh, gotta be getting close. There's another nest. Yeah, let's burn it up. Done. Goddamn freaks. Now it'll be safe and right through here. crossing the road two years ago <laughs> you would have gone splat Schizo, it's St. John. I'm at the border. You see any of my men around? No, Schizo, it's clear. Look, how much time do I got? Time? Time for what? All I know is I got a card game going on with a few of my guys. A couple of them maybe that should be out on guard duty, but I'm letting that slide. If I had to guess, I'd say we'd be playing all night. 
So until morning, got it, Deacon out. now.
These will fix him up, and then we ride out of here, head north, like he said. Deacon St. John, you there? Deacon, this is Ricky. Over. Damn it, I can't let her know we're out here. Hey, Ricky, this is Deke. Uh, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Deke, where are you? I need to get... Oh. Ah. Sorry, Ricky. I don't have time for this right now. Gunshots, what's going on? We had a run in with a few rippers, but I handled it. You handled it? What's the. How? I should have known. You should have known what? Jesus, Ricky, who's running security here? You know, I ask myself that shit every single day. I'm done here. Good. So, what are you doing out here? What am I doing, Dick? Addy told me to come and get you. Why? What? Hold on for a second. Is Boozer okay? I don't know. We gotta go. What's wrong with Boozer? All I know is Addy told me to find you. When I asked around, I found out you and Schizo were heading up here. Now I know why. I don't know what you're talking about. The crash site? The medical supplies? It's no big secret, Deke. Iron Mike was negotiating with Carlos, making a deal so our camp would split it with the Rippers. Oh, bullshit! What do you mean? I mean bullshit! I was there. At that cargo hold's already been looted. Tracks from the crash site all head south. Now, I've been dealing with the fucking Rippers for months. You can't trust a goddamn thing they say. Now you're sounding like Schizo. Schizo, he put you up to this. He told you about the crash site. Ha, <laughs> yeah, great! Now you're calling me Schizo's errand boy. No? Then how'd you find out about it? A drifter up at Copeland's camp. Like you said, it ain't no big secret. Yeah, right. Well, Schizo's been trying to pick a fight with the Rippers for months. Guess it's lucky you came along to do it for him. against their will. How about Tucker? Same thing true for her? I don't know. You ever think when you roll up on someone, starving out in the shit, maybe hasn't slept in days, reach the point where they stop running from men like you, you ever think they don't have a choice? But you took them to the hot springs just to say, earn a few camp credits. Everybody's got a choice, Deacon. It takes us a lot, too, bringing in someone who can't work, can't earn their way. You know, you just be glad that Iron Mike isn't like you.
William. William, if you can hear me, I need you to stop. Addy, what's going on? Loser. <clears throat> Go and hold him. What the hell are you doing? Listen, what are you doing? Listen, do we need to do arm. this, and we need to do this right now. You what? No. Don't you, oh, don't no. you take Deacon. it! No, no, De no, you're not, no way! No, you're not gonna Deacon, do this to him. listen to me! The antibiotics will save his life, but nothing on God's earth is gonna save the arm. Now listen, I need you to help me right now, or you can just watch your friend die. Okay. Adam, we're losing him! Wait! Deacon. All right, all right, all right. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. All right, hey, I just need you to stay hold with him. me. Hold him there. Okay. Hold him. Deke. Deke. Okay. Hold him down right there. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Ah! Oh, my goodness. Ah! No, 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 he's losing too much blood. You gotta stop. He's losing too much blood. Hand me the gun. Ah! 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 Oh! Oh, no. Loser, come on, man. Come on. Oh, there you are. Okay, pal, where? Where do I hold him? Just hold him like this. Stop panicking I'm and hold him. Ryan! Hey. You did good in there. When I was in high school, I thought, hmm, maybe I should be a mechanical engineer, or should I be a surgeon? I guess I should have been a surgeon. <laughs> and you. Hey, hey, okay. You know, you saved your friend's life today. I don't think he's gonna see it that way. Yeah, well, I think he will. I gotta go and give him his IV drip. And you know what, I don't know where you got all this, and I don't want to know, but it's gonna save a lot of lives, Deacon St. John. A lot of lives. I gotta go help Addy. Mike, just settle down, okay? Deacon! Get out here! <laughs> I heard what you did. I wasn't about to let him die. Mike, let it go. It's done. I know that, goddammit. Who's are gonna live? I don't know. The Ripper saw you, followed you back. When Carlos finds out about this, there's gonna be the devil to pay. Carlos can go fuck himself. You are writing checks with other men's blood. I hope you're good with that. You did what had to be done. Mike, wait up. Howdy. Hey, you. Oh, okay, hold on. That's all I got. So, uh, a couple months ago, we were up by Crazy Willie's scavenging, you know. That's all I got today. Good to see you. Hey, Blair. How's life? Um, okay. Yep. Thanks for stopping by. Here for your bike? Hey, how's life? I can fill your bike up. You probably need it.
What else can I get you? Okay, okay. I'll top you off. There. Good as new. Okay. See you around. Wait a sec. I'll open it. Ryan, I'm at one of your beacons. Which one? What do you mean, which one? This Nero radio has a GPS, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. I, uh, okay. Uh, you're at Olali Falls. Okay, good. Uh, keep an eye out. A field op is gonna be there any minute. O'Brien out. O'Brien? Oh, oh, God damn it. O'Brien, come in. Your friends are here. O'Brien. Oh, I told you, they're not my friends. Okay, headed on foot. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, what do you want me to do? Uh, use one of these tracking the devices. Listen, no, not this, this time. I'm already tracking this one. Follow the researcher. And she's there to investigate an infected subject, the, the freak that was tagged in a nearby cave. A cave? You want me to follow armed Nero goons in? Brian, I'm still working on the info you want. Don't ask. Why the hell am I talking to you? Oh, Brian, out. Sound on, people. Clear. Clear. Excuse me. Perimeter's clear. All right, we're locked down. I heard something.
thought I heard something. Hey, Doc. Yeah? I never got that. Yeah. What was that? Stage two, stage three thing. What do you mean? I mean, the virus is what it is, right? No, it's more complicated than that. Now let me... Okay. I know I'm a grunt. But before the freak show, I was a biology major. Just give me the gist. Really? Try me. Okay. We don't really know, but blood tests show. The current evidence suggests that the virus spreads through the lymph system, reproducing and attacking cells on a catastrophic scale. Attacking. More precisely, expressing a series of normally dormant proto oncogenes into an active what state. Cancer. What the hell is look she at doing? Him. Look at all of them. That look like cancer to you? Maybe you're really bad. No. No, no this is something far worse. What do you mean? This virus is on a mission. The freaks are what they are because the virus wants them that way. What are you saying? I'm saying. Jesus, what am I saying? Terrorism? You're saying this was deliberate? I don't know. That's not it. Is she done? Yeah, okay. Time to get the hell out of Dodge. You hear that? Yeah. Anyone else hear that? Fix this. Uh, that'll hold. Whatever the hell it is. What, what it's doing. I want to know what the hell's going on, O'Brien. Why are they out here? What the fuck are you doing? O'Brien! Okay. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Oh boy, this is gonna get old fast. Like to Deacon St. John. Are you there? Uh, yeah, Ricky, what's up? Iron Mike says you volunteered to stick around, do some runs for the camp, but that you refused to work for Schizo. <sighs> yeah, something like that. Well, I can't say I blame you. Okay, 
Well, I guess I'm stuck with you. So stop by the mechanic shop. Uh, we've got a job for you. Yeah, okay. Beacon out. Daddy, you there? Deke and St. John, the Lost Lake Infirmary. Come back. Deke! Hey. Uh, I'm feeling a lot of you know. You okay? What's going on? Boozer. Hey. Uh, nothing. I, uh... I'm tired of listening to the Radio Free Oregon. It only takes so much of this truth and bullshit, you know? Daddy's gonna kill me if she finds out you're out of bed fucking around. Yeah, nope. I've, I hear a bunk uh, calling my name. Lost Lake signing off. Hey, listen, Boozer. Bo St. John, I got a job for you. Cope. You want Manny to work on your bike? Only one way that's gonna happen. I gotta do runs for you. Yeah, I heard you. I need you to deal with a marauder camp near those burned-out shacks along the Cascade Highway. You know where I'm talking about? Yeah, I know it. Radio me if you want to know more. <sighs> Is this enough? I guess we'll find out. Deacon. Hey. Hey, Deke. Hey, Manny. Yo, you need fuel? Hey, hey, you take good care of her. Look me up if you need anything else. Yeah. All right. You got something to you say about me. it? I didn't think I'd see you around so much. What's going on? St. John. Cope out. There you are. Is it? What do we got? Back on track.
Gotta take a closer look. All right, what have we got? <laughs> Still got this. People live there and uh, better idea. Come on, guys, right this way. Hey, Drifter. Come on up. Give up. Gotcha. We got No more. Just uh, shut up. I'm cutting you loose. What? What? You're not. Copeland sent me. Come on, get up. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. They were following us on a supply run. I didn't know what to do. Hey, shut up. Can you run? What? Yeah, yeah. Well, then run. Go. Thank you. I'll tell Copeland you saved my life. Dick and St. John, the Lost Lake Infirmary. Come back. Dick! Hey. Uh, feeling a lot of it, you know. You okay? What's going on? Who's? Hey. Uh, nothing. I, uh... got tired of listening to the radio free work, and it only really takes so much of this truth and bullshit, you know? Carved up that turkey last time we was all together. <laughs> it kept slipping all over the goddamn table. Yeah, booze man. I remember. I still feel it, you know. The knife. Worse than the rippers if 
Hey, Ricky, you said you had a job for me? Hey, Deke. Yeah. You remember Shane Riley? Everyone called him Red? Red Riley. Yeah, never heard of him, but let me guess. Ginger? What? Red hair? No. It was his boots. He wore these rattlesnake boots dyed with god-awful red color. He made quite the impression. <laughs> no, I bet. Anyway, he used to do runs for us back in the day until one day he decides he didn't like the camp credits we were paying. So he up and kills Lindsay Fuller. Who? Lindsay. Worked supply before Blair. Wait a second, so he killed an unarmed woman? Oh, she was armed. She just wasn't expecting him to shoot her in the face. Will you listen? So Red murders her, cleans out her supply hut, and then takes off before anyone knows what's happened. Got away clean. Oh, that son of a bitch. Until now. He and his men have been spotted up at Camp Pioneer. You don't gotta ask. I, uh, I got this thing about, um... About killing unarmed women. I know. So I knew you'd want to handle it. Yeah, like I said, I got this covered. Um, what else can you tell me about him? Not much. Oh, wait. He chews tobacco. I heard he was such an addict that he rounds up cigarette butts, takes out the tobacco, and chews that. Well, that's disgusting. So now I got two reasons to kill him. Yeah, but be careful, Deke. How's it going? Just looking around. See you around. Yep, see you. Don't beat her up too bad. All right, I got you. Later, Deke. So, sounds like they're clearing the freaks. Uh, don't worry. I'll find this guy. Deacon out. Shit. All right, Red. Where the hell are you? Newts. Oh, wow, well, they're killing newts.
Okay, what's this? Okay, yes, yes, cigarette butts, yes. Boot prints. Uh, these look like uh, prints that some fancy cowboy boots would make.
Oh, good. You're in. Jesus. Well, if you gotta go, you gotta go.
Huh, that's interesting. Hey, hey, Ricky. I got him. Deacon, what a relief. Lindsay has some folks she was close to. I'll let him know. Yeah, okay. I'll see you around, Ricky. Hey, man. Just looking for some stuff. I can fill your bike up. You probably need it. Yeah, good part that way.
Okay, okay. I'll top you off. I got you covered. I'll be here if you need me. All right. We had a couple of guys burned out in the nest a few weeks back. Saw a bunch of freaks down the horde. You think they grouped together like that for a reason? I mean, like a community or something? No. Deke? I've been, uh, thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. You got a few minutes. I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. So where are we heading? You ever been up to the caves north of the lake? I know. Come on, see if you can keep up. Okay, let's go. I got marsh duty anyway this morning. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? Been a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. My old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. Sounds like we got a couple. Freaks stuck in the mud, I mean. Yeah, sounds like. Here, let me take care of them. All right. I guess I can let you do that. <laughs> nice work. I think Schizo's just found a new man for the job. You know what Schizo can go do. Anyway, as I was saying, we spent hours talking about how all these caves were formed when lava flows would harden on the outside, but the molten cores would still flow like buried rivers. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there. There's way more than that. Riddled all over these parts. Okay, okay, we're coming up on the highway. We gotta be quiet. You brought me out of here? I smell a bunch of goddamn freaks? Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on, follow him. Wait, wait, wait. Follow him? Where the hell are we going? You'll see. Come on. Don't get too close. Stay down. Just what the hell are we doing, Deke? This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah, in July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. Well, you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Boozer two, Ricky, Schizo, a few others. How many freaks you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. You got a point? It's these hordes. Every night, there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sandium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley, north of the Cascades. And you think they're coming up from California? Highway's closed off. No one's been south of the Santium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. Well, you got that much right. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that, freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. <clears throat> yeah, we t 
don't, you don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through. Maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You know goddamn well you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a horde? This is how. I'll be goddamn. Yeah. They stand there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So, what are you thinking that we. Yep. Blow it the hell up. Stick it down to my bear. There and there, we bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, no, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and others stop coming. Yeah. All right. All right. You get my attention. Okay, come on, let's head back. All right, my knees are warmed up a bit. Let's see if you can keep up. Yeah, okay. Tell me, when does being out in the shit make you an expert on freaks? You spend your spare time just following them around, seeing what makes them tick? Not exactly. And how do you know about all this? About what a horde's gonna do, where they sleep? A few days ago, I was riding north of Belknap Crater when a chopper flew by. A chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going down. And you saw one, still flying. I followed him. I stole one of their radios. I've been trying to track them down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. Shit, I mean, see if the feds are still alive, you know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. They got resources to do that while we're out here starving, fighting to stay alive. I followed them up to the grotto caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They have motion sensors set up, measuring how many freaks use the cave during the day, and, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. They said freaks all up and down the Cascade Range, south of Crater Lake and north up to Smith Rock, all use these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blow up those caves, maybe we have a few less to deal with. Hey, this idea of yours, it's got some merit, but a job like that, it's gonna take a fair amount of TNT. He said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer, this is how we do it. <sighs> All right. All right, look, there's some things I gotta do, okay? But you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes. I know where we can find some. Say, John, you were... Supposed to be up at the farm an hour ago. My guy said he's got a shovel waiting for you. Yeah, Schizo, about that, I'm busy. See, Iron Mike and I, we're just heading out on a run. You and Iron Mike? You'll get your ass up that way today, or you and your gimp boyfriend are gonna find yourselves out in the shit, you hear me? Without a goddamn battle! Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on that. St. John out. What do you want? You got something to say about it. 